Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Praveen Kumar Women's Society. Today we'll see one of the important topics that is migration from Oracle database. I want to migrate the existing processor into Snowflake. So one more time. So my processor is there in Oracle database due to client requirement. Okay, so I want to migrate the existing processor into Snowflake and the logic should be working fine the Snowflake. So before going to the particular topic, you should have understanding of the following topic like you should know how to handle Snowflake database. Okay, how to handle Oracle database. Just now you should know the navigation part. Okay, so tables. Okay, how to create out in some so procedure logic. So in and out parameters are required. Okay, same thing. One more thing is that what anonymous block. Okay, and how to call the processing. If you know all this concept, it is easily, clearly, and you can able to understand the functional. One second. Okay, like Snowflake Blakes, it's like how to create a database, schema. So these are the basic thing you should understand functionality. Okay, similar fashion what? You should know the processor syntax creation, okay? So create or replace processor, processor name. So returns data type as, this is normal thing. Okay, here you need to understand the functional is that what? So my, okay, you need to understand what? Oracle database syntax and the Snowflake syntax. If you're able to understand both things, we can easily develop the last. Okay, let us discuss in detail. Okay, okay so this is my Oracle database. Okay, so there are tables, are there views, are there packets, are so processors, okay? So I'm going for simple processor. You need to understand the concept. If you know the concept, you can able to build the complicated logic also, okay? See, I'm going for simple calculate salary bonus, okay? So sim in the in Oracle database, I am taking the processors, Okay, in the processor, I'm clicking on the same thing. Now see what is the syntax, create or replace, processor, processor name. So calculate salary bonus is the processor name. Here, how many arguments are there in arguments? Two, two input and one output argument. So here, yeah, so employee ID, we are, so these are the parameters. Employee ID, bonus percentage, I'm getting bonus amount parameter. One more time, there are three parameters are there. ID, okay, so percentage, and amount. So two input parameters, one output parameters. Okay, got the point. So this is the normal behavior. So this is a declaring the variable and this is the functionality we are trying to make it. So create or replace. So you need to understand what? So two parameters. So this parameter I'm passing. So see, if I pass the employee, I am getting the salary. To the salary, I'm trying to add the bonus. Okay, so this is the existing. So what happened? Let me put the same functionality. So see, base salary. So base salary to percentage. So what happened? Input is employee ID, bonus percentage, output I, I want to get the amount. Okay, here you need to understand what, how can we call the procedure in Oracle database? So how can we call by using, so begin and end. Okay, first we should do the unit testing. Okay, so copy the same thing. So control V. Now how many arguments we are having? Okay. So two arguments and a table. Let me see the table, okay? Select a star from table, okay? Now see the output. So see one employee is there, 100 is the base cell, okay? Now what's the employee ID we need to pass? So employee ID one, one comma. Now what happened? Bonus percentage, suppose like I wanted, okay? So 20% as the 20 as the bonus percentage, okay? Now we are getting out parameter. So this is the out parameter. Okay, out parameter composite, we need to put it. Okay. So see, so if I want to use the out parameter composite, we need to declare it. So declare. So declare. Okay, so bonus parameter, it's a number. Okay, so simple thing. I am trying to declare section begin. Okay, end. Now we need to put semicolon. So dbms output dot. Okay. So these are the basic things. If you know Oracle database only, you can able to work on migration. But one important point in Rimmer is that what? When you're working for any migration project, suppose we're working for Oracle, you should have navigation. Okay, how to navigate the processor, how to the processor, you need to understand. Suppose you're working on SQL Server, you should know the, okay, at least basic functionality of one database, which database you're migrating. So right now I'm migrating for Oracle database. Okay, I need to have knowledge on Oracle database. See, I'm putting the same functionality. Now see what happened, let me call it. So see, now I want, I cannot able to see, we need to put set server output. On. When I put like this, we'll get the output. 
now try to execute one more time now see what happen see i am getting out as 120 so see if i pass 120 i am getting 120 suppose if i push past 30 what is the output will get out pass out pass 30 130 okay so this is in oracle database same thing if i try to exit in snowflake we should get out pass 30 then only the unit testing our code is working fine. We can able to this one more time. So right now I am trying to execute in Oracle database. My output is 130. Same thing after migrating Snowflake. If I try to call the processor, I should get output as 130. So that's nothing but unit testing. So make sure like, so you are doing unit testing properly so that the code is working in Snowflake also. Okay. Okay, let me log into Snowflake Snowsite UI. Okay, this is Snowsite UI. I'm trying to open a scale worksheet. Okay, see, let me create one new database. So create a database, okay. Oracle something, Oracle. Okay, Oracle migration database. See, this is the migration database. So create one schema, Oracle migration schema. Okay, see what happens. So now database is their schema access. So same thing, copy the code as it is, control, control C. Okay, now open to Snowflake. Now try to click. Now see what happened. If I try to put as it is, it will work. Huh? So see here what happened. This is important. So if I try to put, okay, so let me make a little bit. Okay, now see if I try to exit, it won't work as it is. See, see what happened. So unknown function. So see, okay, now what happens here does not match. Now see what happened here. You need to understand what. So create or replace processor, processor name. So see syntax is what in Snowflake. So create or replace processor, processor name. Okay. And so here in won't work. Okay. So in parameter won't work. Okay. So remove the in parameter. Okay. Next one is that what V base salary. So V base salary, nothing but what here in, we need to have declare concept is it. So declare. Okay. So we can't able this directly the variable. We should go for declare. So declare, okay. So this also is rectified. And one more thing is that what unsupported data type output. Here you need to understand what in Snowflake, there is no out parameter concept. So see, instead of out, we should go for what concept? Go for a return keyword, okay. Here one point. So in not supported in parameter, okay. We can't able to define in, but we can able to use, okay. We thought, so see, so we need to remove in and out not supported out parameter not supported okay. so instead of out what we can go for what go for return keyword okay so control x we'll see one more time now we need to go for what concept go for return return keyword okay so return bonus amount parameter okay so same logic we are trying to put okay so control enter now see what one more thing what Okay, store to proceed is return type missing. So compile syntax is that what create or replace processor procedure name. So we should mention so returns which data type. I am trying to return returns number. So next one is that what okay. See unknown functionality. One more thing is that what if we see here. Okay, so here it won't support in Snow Oracle database. We need to mention, but we need to remove it and we can able to make it. Okay, so this is so far good. Huh? So create or replace procedure, procedure name, employee ID parameter. So, so remaining the same logic. Okay. Now, how to call this procedure generally by using what? Call procedure name. So what is our procedure name? Okay, copy the same thing. Now try to pass. It will it will throw error. 1, comma 30. Now see what happened. So see invalid identifier bonus amount parameter okay so if you see here what happened so bonus amount parameter compulsory we need to declare it if i want to use any variable compulsory we should declare it okay it's a number data okay. so this is second step next step or try to call it again it will throw error now what's that error see so employee does not exist or not not see now what happened first step of any project is the migration is that what see now table is there, so table is not available. So first we need to migrate the table. Now where's our table? Employee four, go to tables. So employee four already there. Okay, take the SQL, 
copy the SQL, control C, go to Snowflake. I will write explain one more time. So table has been created successfully. So table is, this is so far. Okay, let me insert one record. Okay, so data is a simple one. Okay, one and 100. So insert into employee table values one comma hundred okay now table is all there now see the data now what happened now we're getting all pass now what happened again so statement error okay employee ID parameter okay. so what is employee ID parameter okay see this is the functionality employee ID parameter okay now what happened one more important thing here so parameter won't work directly we need to pass binding variable okay Try to make it now. If I call now, we should get output 130. Got a pointer C 130. Now it's doing error. Why we need to pass employee ID? Do you check the data? Okay, one. Okay, so okay. See, we return uh, vice versa. Let me let me use create architect. Like this only, we need to build the application. Okay. Now see the data, select to start from employee. First one is the base salary and the employee. So base salary, I'm putting 100. Where is the insert statement? 100. And the employee ID, 1. Okay, control. Okay, now it should work. Now output should be 130. Got the point? Huh? So if you're not able to understand, so let me open one more session. Okay, so create the database. Okay, first what? So we need to take the existing Oracle okay, procedure and put in Snowflake. So before that, what happened? Let me create one database. Okay, so test D. Okay, here what happened step by step? You need to remember. First step is that what? Okay, in Snowflake. Okay, in which we should not write. Okay, this is the first thing. Okay, I'm trying to do the in. Okay, this is the first step. Second step is that what? Okay, see, second step. And one more thing is that what's here at the end. Okay, name should be removed. Okay, see this one. Okay, so the procedure name, it won't work. So we should not, we should not put here. So this is the second. Okay, so remove, remove name. Okay, so what about third one? So see, now what happened? Compass, you should mention return data type. Okay, see. Reuse returns data type. Okay, this is the third step. Okay, see, we should mention so returns number. Okay, now what happened? Okay, this is fine. Now we can't establish directly. We should go for declare keyword. So declare. Okay, so put a declare keyword. If I want to use any variable, into declare. Okay, so one more step is that what? So see, out parameter won't support. Okay, see, out. Remove because out is not supporting snowflake. Now instead of out, what you should go for what go for a return keyword. Okay, instead of out, so remove the same thing. Out. Okay, so put the same thing. So use a return keyword. So return. What is the key parameter? So this is the parameter. Okay, and here what happened? If I want this variable composite, we should declare it. Okay, so declare. Where I need to declare in the declaration section. It's a number. Okay. And one more thing is that what? So make sure like necessary dependent objects we are we are migrating. So dependent nothing but what? In this closer, which object is dependent? So table is dependent. So first to make sure like either table views sequence are migrated correctly or not okay now what happened so go to oracle database go to particular thing and take the sql so first step is to migrate the ddls okay now what happens see table has been migrated successfully okay so table migrate okay so make sure like data also loaded successful okay now what happened now insert into what's the table employee for Values okay. Suppose I'm putting so base salary 20,000. Okay, I'm putting employee ID one. Okay, now see what happened. This is so far good. Now, see what happened now. So, this is 
table is there. Okay, and we have make rectify the same thing. Now let me create the procedure. So it is working fine. Now try to call. How to call? By saying call our procedure name. Okay, now if I pass what is the parameter employee ID and the percentage. So 10 percentage. Now see it's working fine. Now again, what some issue? What is show employee ID parameter? Okay, so what is discussed now? Parameters, one more important thing. So in Snowflake, so parameter should be binding. Bind. Okay, so you got the point. So you see what happened. We need to put binding parameter. Now it should work without any issues. Oh, okay. So 20,000, okay, so 22,000. What to find a simple thing? Okay, let me insert one more record. Okay, suppose like 100 second. We can able to work on the like okay, see, so two now you should get so something like 110. What to find a like this way? So this is the migration. Our existing object will be there. We want to migrate account. So we are not developing new logic, just we are taking according to the snowflake standard. So if you are working on the migration project, you can easily understand. So these are the things you need to remember. Ins not supported, out not supported. So binding parameter returns declare. Okay, this is the way we need to make it working. Okay, the same thing those who are working, they can able to correlate easily. Okay, if you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.